Can isoflavones impact breast cancer risk? Isoflavones, especially from soy, often get a bad rap with many people believing that they actually cause breast cancer in part because they can be referred to as a type of phytoestrogen. However, that doesn't mean they are estrogen and this new systematic review and meta-analysis further highlights why we shouldn't treat them as such. They included seven cohort studies and 17 case control studies with over 900,000 participants in total. Overall, those with the highest isoflavone consumption had a 29% lower odds of developing breast cancer compared to those with the lowest consumption. However, the results were not statistically significant in non-Asian studies or studies where the high consumers were getting less than 10 milligrams of isoflavones per day. For reference, that's about half a serving of soy milk or tofu. And that makes sense since if we're going to see a benefit from consuming these isoflavone rich foods like soy and other legumes, then we have to look at people who are actually consuming them regularly. And that would be more common in Asian countries than in non-Asian countries. They also conducted a dose response meta-analysis of the cohort studies, which may be more informative of a cause and effect relationship, and they found that each 10 milligrams of isoflavones consumed per day was associated with a 3.2 to 6.8% lower odds of developing breast cancer. And the benefits continue to rise with higher consumption. So this is further evidence that isoflavone-rich foods like soy may actually help prevent breast cancer, not cause it as is often believed.